My name is Faith Whitehouse. I'm a part-time gallery assistant here at the RBSA. I've just graduated with a History of Art degree from the University of Birmingham and I decided to write my History of Art undergraduate dissertation on this particular painting which is by Trevor Denning and it's called RBSA New Street. I chose this particular work because I was really drawn to the modern aspect that Trevor has included in this work. Um, from looking at what was available in the archive, a lot of the works previously were very old-fashioned, traditional landscapes, countryside scenes, and this for me really struck me, especially with the um, caricatures of the three figures and the works in the background. Um, for my research, I concluded that there was this caricature aspect that Trevor had done when he visited London and looked at the London artists such as Picasso and then I also suggested that the paintings in the background were like Matisse and it really drawn on my interest in modern 1950s and 60s art um, as well as being important to learn about what was going on in Birmingham in the 1950s and 60s which hasn't really been written about before. I was particularly, I found this work interesting, um, especially the three figures here in the front. I found their reactions to what was going on at the RBSA in this period very different um, to what was actually being shown in the gallery. In this time, a lot of traditional works were being shown and then Trevor kind of brought this modern aspect to the gallery and these three figures are reacting to an exhibition by him that clearly they do not agree with. Um, my main findings about this work was an issue with the date. Um, the catalogue at the RBSA dated it as 1955. Um, through talking to Jean Denning and exploring the private collection of Trevor Denning, I discovered sketches that he made of this particular work around the 1940s, so I was able to um, change the date of the work. Um, another thing that I found was that Denning had a very keen interest in London. He would go to London every six weeks for a haircut, which would have explained the London influence that we have in the back of Matisse and Picasso. There are so many benefits um, to choosing a work from a local collection. Um, first of all, you're extending the scholarship that hasn't really been written about before. Second of all, you're doing something original, which means it's probably more interesting. And finally, um, doing something original means you can make your own arguments up where you have no theorists or no scholarship to um, fall back on. It's all your own independent research and independent arguments that no one can particularly argue about at the moment. For me, studying a work from the RBSA collection was really important in improving my archive skills and also independence um, as an art historian, looking at a painting and discovering what it actually means and what's going on. Um, also, I used to do bits of journalism before I joined the gallery and I really enjoyed the social aspect of the research, such as talking to Brendan Flynn, interviewing Jonathan Watkins at the Icon and then finally visiting Jean Denning at her home and seeing the private collection and learning a little bit more about a particular artist. My advice to students selecting um, work for their History of Art dissertation would be to choose a piece that is going to be interesting. You're going to be spending probably over a year on this particular work. You're going to be spending many hours um, researching it. Secondly, I would really say to choose something that hadn't been written about before. Um, originality is much more fun to research. You can gain a lot more. And what I particularly enjoyed from my particular dissertation was that I could make my own arguments up, that I wasn't having to look at what other critics and other theorists had said about the particular work. It was all from my own original research and thirdly I think it's really important to think about how you can contribute to the scholarship um, perhaps that hasn't even been written about yet. Um, Birmingham has lots of different um, artists and artworks that really need to be written about um, just to secure the legacy and obviously continue the archival research as well.